It's official. Dr. Dan Sims is the newest Bibb County Schools superintendent. 41 NBC's Lisbeth Gutierrez was at his swearing in ceremony today and she spoke with him and district leaders about goals for this upcoming school year and beyond. I do further solemnly swear. The Bibb County School District celebrated an emotional moment for Dr. Dan Sims. After working in education for more than 20 years, Dr. Sims is now taking on the role of superintendent. I believe in service and to now serve at the highest level in public education, it is gratifying uh, to know that I can take all of my talents, all my skills, all of my experience and put it on the table for Bibb County. Dr. Sims says his biggest focus is getting to know his new team. He says he won't make changes anytime soon, but says that when the time comes, he'll need everyone's help. I plan to treat every child like that child is mine, and I'm going to encourage and push every staff member to do the exact same thing. I also want parents to know how much I'm counting on them to be partners with us for their children. Dr. Sims addressed his loved ones and school leaders in a message he wrote just days before his interview for the position, a position that Dr. Thelma Dillard, the president of the Bibb County School Board, says will come with change. Everybody can have input now. This is an opportunity for every stakeholder to have input and to help our school system to move in the direction that they think it should go. Dr. Nancy Forday, the executive director of supplemental services for the school district, says she's most looking forward to seeing the connections Dr. Sims will form. The number one thing that Dr. Sims talks about is putting our students and our children first, all of them. Dr. Sims says he wants to take care of every child even after they graduate. I'm just excited about the future. Um, I pray for this day and it's happened and now I'm ready to work. In Macon, Lisbeth Gutierrez, 41 NBC News. Dr. Sims officially assumes the role of superintendent on July 1st. In his first 90 days, Dr. Sims says that he wants to spend time listening and engaging with individuals in the school district and the community.